this question here it says E and F are points on the sides PQ and PR. E and F are the points on sides PQ and PR. For triangle PQR. For each of the following cases, state whether EF is parallel to QR. We have three different conditions where we have been given different lengths of PE, EQ, PF, and FR. And we have to see to it from these given lengths, can we see EF is parallel to QR? Very first is this. So I'll see if PE over EQ is equal to PF over FR, then EF will be parallel to QR as per the triangle similarity theorem. Converse of triangle similarity theorem. Alright. If this is proven then EF is parallel to QR. Let's find out PE over EQ. PE is 3.9, EQ is 3, so this would be 1.3 over 1. PF over FR, PF is 3.6, FR is 2.4. So this is 1.5 over 1. So here, so here, PE over EQ is not equal to PF over FR. So EF is not parallel to not parallel to QR. This one here. Let's see what is PE over QE. PE over QE is 4 over 4.5 and PF over RF is 8 over 9. Let's multiply both the numbers by 2 means numerator by 2, denominator by 2 or 4 over 4.5 into 2 over 2. This becomes 8 over 9. This is also 8 over 9 means PE over QE is equal to PF over RF. So EF is parallel to QR. Alright, as per triangle similarity theorem, if PE over EQ is equal to PF over FR, then PE over PQ will also be equal to PF over PR. So if PE over PQ is equal to PF over FR, then this is also true. And if this is true, then this will be true. So let's try to prove this here. PE over PQ. So PE over PQ is PE is 0 0.18. PQ is 1.28. PF over PR. PF is 0 0.36. And PR is 2.56. So let's leave this as it is. Let's divide this by 2. So this gives me 0 0.18, 0 0.36 divided by 2, and 2.56 divided by 2 gives you 1.28. So here, PE over PQ is equal to PF over PR which gives me PE over EQ is equal to PF over FR means EF is parallel to QR. 
All right. So here this will be yes.